Hey everybody, how are y'all doing on this Monday? Uh, I am, uh, I haven't made any videos today because I've been running around. I'm very excited. I got my new car. Some of y'all know mine was wrecked um, on the 4th. Uh, a woman back into me when I was just driving down the road, minding my own business, and she told my car. So, um, I had to get a new one, and we finally got the insurance to pay, and got everything lined up, and I got a, um, a Ford Edge. It's an SUV, and it's wonderful. It's so pretty. Um, and this is an unusual pour I'm going to do today. Um, I've done one more like it, so it's still kind of experimental. But it's a combination of the Shelly Art Pour Medium and Floetrol. And so I put just enough Shelly Art in there to mix my paint up about that much. And then I added Floetrol to the rest of it. So in a way, it's kind of like every color is mixed like a cell activator. Um, and I added some silicone to every couple color, including the cell activator. And I actually put some white cell activator in the middle of these colors just for the hell of it. I don't know what it's going to do. Um, I've done, the other pour I did was a, 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 a Dutch pour, I think. And uh, I mixed it pretty much the same way. And it came out really pretty. Um, so I thought I'd do it again and um, do it with some different colors. It was kind of an earth tone pour. And... Um, I thought I'd do it with some different colors and see what happened. Um, the white is mixed like a traditional cell activator. Um, and the other colors are mixed how I explained. And um, so I just thought I'd see what it does. I don't know. And I am going to torch it a little bit. Um, because it is mostly Floetrol and... I think that will help activate cells. I don't know. We're we're, gonna, we're totally in uncharted water, so we'll just see how it does. It, um, my other one um, was real pretty. Um, I thought it, it's in the other room where I just showed you, but um, it came out pretty. Um, this one doesn't have as many cells so far as it did. But it's pretty. The colors are pretty. So, uh, on the other one and on this one too, the colors are just really pretty, really vibrant, um, and very well defined, um, which I like. So, um, I don't know. I'm just fooling around, you know, just trying new things, and uh, so we'll see. I don't know if this is anything I'm gonna you know, stick to doing or, you know, doing a regular basis or anything, but I do kind of, uh, I do kind of like it. It's kind of different. Um, the other one, the other one was prettier than this. This is kind of basic, you know, nothing all that special about it, but why is it not? There's those big gaps up there where it's, I'm seeing a canvas through there. Maybe I should have gessoed it before. I started to. But I didn't. Um, I don't know. We'll see what it does. I gotta cover up those areas up there, though. Um, Alright. see what we got now. Um, definitely don't need all that blue. I'm going to have to get on over here and spread this color around a little bit. I don't like spaces full of single colors. Um, it's okay. we got plenty of paint to do it though. It's unusual. 
um, it's kind of pretty. I mean, um, it's nothing all that, you know, it's not, you'd be stunning or anything, but, um, it's, it's interesting. It's different. Um, let me, um, ooh, no trash can in there. Don't want to do that. Um, let me torch it again. Um, it's got a bunch of air bubbles. For one thing, um, uh, that bright tone produces a lot of air bubbles. And usually they're real small and they pop before, you know, much of anything gets going. I've never had a problem with them. Um, this has quite a few that are still there. And they're usually not still there at this point. But anyway, let's make some cells there, um, here and there, um, down in here, up in there. Um, it's kind of interesting. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let me get y'all down and let y'all see it close. Um, it's not my best work ever, but it's, it's pretty. Here's some resin stuff I did yesterday. Um, with the cells, I got some cells in that one. Not many cells in this one, but it's pretty. And that's my, one of my ocean ones I did. And, uh, I want you to look at this. Doesn't that look just like seaweed? It's a new kind of moss I found at Hobby Lobby. And I really think it's cool. Alright, that's blurry, so let me see if I can fix it. Okay, that's better. See, there's some cells right in here. Um, and right there, and right over in here. But other than that, it didn't really do much cell-wise. Um, even the cell activator didn't do anything. Oh, well, it's something to try, something to think about. I may tweak it some and see what it does. But anyway, I appreciate y'all being here. Thank you. Um, and I appreciate you supporting my channel. Um, the likes and subscribes and all that are really, really starting to pay off. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Join me anytime, every day. I have new videos posted every day. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your evening, and I'll talk to you soon.